All right. Hey guys, what's up? This is Wolf here, one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to devlog number four. And number four is going to be making the placeholder interior. It's just a placeholder. It will be changed, obviously, you know. We always do like the, you know, before and after images. Which is going to be interesting because I, I left it into the power of, you know, the Fiverr user who normally makes all of my um, towel sets right now. I left it into their hands to make certain items in their own way instead of, you know, me telling them of how to make it. So at the moment, as you guys can see, I am making the player and the parents room. This did take a lot of a lot of time to do. I I would say it took over to like Well actually I don't think it actually took that long. I think it took like maybe 30 minutes or an hour. I think it was less than an hour at least. But I I think it was mostly just because I was trying to rush through because I had to go to work the next day. <laughs> So yeah, right now I'm just testing a lot of palettes, just well, a lot of towels, just to see what I want to actually like do. My towel set will have a lot more things that will uh, make it look a lot better. But at the moment, I am going to be making, you know, basically the rooms. Then I am actually going to be doing like doorways and setting up the events for those. And once I set up the event for the doorways, I'm going to be putting items in that will also be finally um, connected to, what was it? They'll finally be connected to the closet. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, costume room. Right now we're kind of far away from that because I was trying to set up this as I didn't know if I wanted it to be just a normal hallway or if I wanted a door. <laughs> also was trying to figure out if I uh, if there was another door around and I actually found it as you guys can see. Right now I'm just getting the basics, but um good news is coming up for the next devlog uh the next devlog will have quite a bit of interesting features for me to actually implement into the game i don't think i'm gonna do that live well not live as in like you know go live and do it i don't know if i'm gonna do like live commentary with it because this is like post commentary you know just showing you guys like all the methods, well, all the items that I've tried to put in, you know, and design wise and the progress that I've done. I have thought about doing, um, doing quite a bit of new things, but the only issue is like, I need, I need the basic stuff first. <laughs> I got to get my basic stuff first. Then I can try it, try like new events, you know, try to figure out like different codings I can do for this. Cause maybe I can do like a slot machine, you know, have the old old ass arcade that Pokemon used to always have. And that's going to be the fun part. Once I start getting NPCs and, but we're still in the, you know, the early stages. Shit, we're not even in alpha stage. This is like <laughs> way, way early. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll also be testing collision and stuff like that as well. I just made it look all purdy. Oh yeah. Um, this is going to be connected to the first like living room we made. Or do I make it here? I think I remake it. No, no, no. This is the first living room we had. I forgot all about this map. Yeah, this is this is like the first room we ever made. 
Now, as you guys can see, I'm putting the events in to where it will transfer me to that map. Now I got to test it. Oh yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't set it to player touch. For some reason, I, I left it on player button to where you have to click to go up the stairs. I think I actually realized this after a while. Yeah, there you go. Player touch. <laughs> now it takes me up. Now I forgot I had to set it to where I can go back. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll figure this out once I uh, actually go inside this door. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've fastly figured out that I have to go make another event to go back out. <laughs> Now I need to also make like a door sound effect too for that, for walking through doors. Or I could just have it be um, seamless, who knows. It, it's a lot of choices I got to make here. For some reason this carpet kept showing like a weird freaking uh, bottom of the map for some reason. Don't know why. I am going to have to change like the outer map to something that doesn't reflect because <laughs> that that would also throw people off. By default, for some reason, there's like a reflection. All right, now we're going to be connecting the costume room to the closet. As you can see, I put the event above the closet just so I can run up to it and click it from there instead of at the bottom, because at the bottom, I'm clicking at the floor. You got to remember like where your placements are from what I've learned. So now I'm going to give it a choice. It's going to ask you if you want to enter the, the costume room. And boom, you're in the costume room now. This will also be the, like the cheating room for like early stages of the game. But that'll probably be coded. Who knows? Not not too sure you right now. Now I'm testing collision. Seeing if towels are off or anything. I noticed that the chair towel is off because it's not directly in front of the PC. But yeah, that is the end of the whole interior creation. So as you guys can see, uh, I'm I'm actually, you know, doing the basic stuff and shit like that. Um, I do want unique NPCs for myself, so I will be making those. So these are going to be like totally different maps. I'm going to be recreating them. I'm not going to be like replacing stuff that are that's inside of the already created map because I want to do the before and after, you know. So, yeah, whatever my interior well, the basic interior stuff comes in, then I will, you know, showcase that. But I'm looking forward to <laughs> Devlog 5 because then I'll have a really fun surprise for you guys that will actually, you know, basically start the basics of the game. And once that uh, happens, I can actually start getting into a lot of the stuff that I've been looking forward to changing and getting into but um at the moment i am talking with quite a bit of fiber people at the moment and, and uh hopefully my new job is gonna you know still pay me the same amount of my other job i was working at maybe more which will help me still process and proceed through the game 
uh i think that's it <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed look forward to the next devlog and until then peace out you all have a good one